Mas Oyama, the legendary creator and master of the Kyokushin style, originator of the self-defense concepts you are about to see. He was one of the greatest martial artists of the 20th century, a man of superhuman strength and determination. To demonstrate the limits of human ability and the power of Kyokushin Karate, he faced huge bulls in barehanded combat. The style he created has spread to well over a hundred countries. Black Belt Magazine says, Kyokushin fighters are among the fiercest in the world. And it also says, they personify the Budo, or warrior concept, better than any other karate stylists. Once Sosai Oyama had to defend himself against a man with a knife, which gave him an intense interest in Goshinjitsu, self-defense. And among his last words was the hope this video would help teach those techniques to the men and women of Kyokushin around the world. It is to his memory that this video is respectfully dedicated. Bobby Lowe, the first of Kyokushin's famous Thousand Day Men, and the only one ever who was Masoyama's personal protege. Sosai Oyama publicly declared Bobby Lowe to be his spiritual brother. Now, Shihan Lowe is the highest rank in the style. He has dedicated his life to teaching Kyokushin Karate, and is a recognized world expert in self-defense. Shihan's dojo in Honolulu, Hawaii, was the first in the world outside Japan. For over 40 years, he has been teaching self-defense techniques as part of his Kyokushin training. His annual seminars in Hawaii attract students from around the world. <laughs> Goshin Jitsu, or self-defense techniques, train us to defend ourselves against violent attacks. Unfortunately, the emphasis on full contact tournament kumite has resulted in neglect of Goshin Jitsu in most Kyokushin dojos around the world. The following situations dramatize the need for self-defense skills and also that physical size or strength does not limit the ability to defend oneself. Okay. 
heat. Some people just never learn. Masoyama said Tencho is the most important of the formal exercises because of its use of the vital Ibuki breathing and because it is the key to self-defense. But he also said it is too often neglected in dojo training. Shihan Lo has practiced Tencho every day since 1952. Tencho is simple and short, stressing dynamic tension and executed very slowly. Its movements were adapted from those of the bear and the cat by the great karate masters. Sosai Oyama and Shihan Lo both say the Tencho Kata should be part of your daily life. Remember, 90% of self-defense is common sense. Use your key awareness to avoid danger. Resort to actual combat only when your life is in danger and there is no possibility of escape or avoidance. It is, of course, impossible to predict how a violent attack will happen. That is why we learn many responses and practice continually to make them instinctive. The practice of a technique only begins after 1,000 repetitions and only reaches maturity after 10,000. This video is a teaching tool for intermediate and advanced Kyokushin students. The techniques are dangerous and attention must be paid to student safety. Students should be proficient in tumbling and break falls. Work out on mats or stop short of the throw. Even though we show the techniques only on one side, students should practice on both sides for balance and versatility. When practicing knife defenses, use a rubber knife or put tape over the knife blade. Concentrate on key, focus, breathing, and speed. Face your training partner with your hands at your sides. When grabbing, raise your opposite hand to the guard position. Show respect for your training partners. Sosai Oyama said, Karate begins with courtesy and ends with courtesy. The techniques are performed by top-ranking members of the Hawaii headquarters and include scenes from the annual seminars on which this video is based. Yeah! On the outside wrist grab, make sure that the hand that is escaping is move past your shoulder line so that your opponent will not be able to strike you in the face. Again, emphasis should be placed on the lower abdomen, in the tricep, and on your last two fingers and wrists. Yes! Very slow. Okay, watch that up and slap with the hand. Notice when you stretch the arm this way, the ribs open. So that's what he 
already did, so this is more effective when the punch goes in. Yeah. On the outside wrist grab, be sure that your left hand and your left foot moves out simultaneously to avoid being struck in the face by your opponent. On this wrist grab, be sure that the hand that you turn over latches onto your body so that your elbow strike would be effective, followed by a strike to the neck, a hisagiri, and a throw down. this wrist grab escape, be sure that you make a 180 degree turn to your left, followed by a shuto to the neck, a punch to the face, a giri to the stomach, and a takedown, followed with an elbow strike. On this wrist grab defense, be sure that you make a 270 degree turn before you strike with your elbow or with a shuto, followed with a takedown and a follow through. On the defense against the sleeve grab, be sure that you apply that elbow lock securely under his elbow, and then when it's applied properly, you will notice that he will stand up on his toes, and after that you follow through with a strike to his jaw and take him down and follow through with a punch. Defend against a cross arm grab. Be sure to strike down with a girambarai and follow with an uraken, a kingiri to the groin, and a takedown. Defending against a cross wrist grab, be sure to step out at a 45 degree angle, latch that grabbing wrist onto your body and strike to break his elbow with your hand, 
follow with a takedown and a follow through. To defend against a cross wrist grab, you must use the ten show open block, followed by a forearm strike to the elbow and a takedown and a strike to the spine with the elbow. On this next technique against a cross wrist grab, you must counter grab that hand, pivot over and execute an arm break against the shoulder, followed with a strike to his stomach, face, testicles, and a throw down and a follow through punch. Defend against a cross wrist grab, counter grab that wrist, step across, strike down on his shoulder with a shote, wrap that arm around his neck to choke him, throw him down and finish with a punch. Defending against a cross hand grab and a punch to the face, you must utilize the use of the Mashioke such that you'll be able to immobilize him and follow through with a kick to the groin and a takedown. hand wrist grab, be sure to open both hands and strike down against his wrist with his own hand, follow through the hurricane and a take down and follow through.
defending against a two-hand wrist grab, be sure to utilize the circular block as done in the Saifa Kata. Follow through with a Uraken Shomenuch to the face, a Moashi Hizagiri to the body, and a takedown and elbow strike to the spine. Counter against a two-hand wrist grab, execute a double rollover wrist lock as shown in the Kanku Kata. Follow through with a kick to the groin, a throw down, and a punch to the face. against a two-hand wrist grab, strike out with open hands, follow with a headbutt, a kingiri, and a mwashigiri to the body. against a two-hand wrist grab, bring both hands in together, step back, and thrust his throat, follow with a hizagiri to the stomach, and a throw down and finish punch. choke, strike down with your forearm against his elbow, twist and turn, strike his body and follow through with a takedown. against a one-hand lapel grab, step across 180 degrees, strike opponent's arm with your shoulder to break the grab, then strike his body, groin, and face, and follow through with a throwdown. Grab, hold the grabbing hand, strike the elbow with a shote, 
Kansetsugeti, and throw. For this attack, lock down the grabbing hand, block, shote to the chin, step through and throw. For a double lapel grab, pull one elbow down, shote to the chin, then use the chin for the throw. grab, pivot outside, pull the elbow down, and strike the face. against a bear hug, squat into your kibarachi stance, latch onto one arm, strike upwards to break the grab, then strike his body, face, and testicles, and sweep him down. To defend against a thrusting knife attack, sidestep, strike down against his arm, grab his arm with your other hand, execute a strike to his face, throw him down, remove the knife, and follow through with a kick to his body. To defend against a slashing knife attack, step back, block with an open block, 
strike his neck with a shuto, follow with a headbutt, a takedown, and remove that knife. For a downward stab, use a forearm block and follow the attacker's downward motion. against a double slashing knife attack, step out, block his arm, grab that arm, execute an elbow break against your shoulders, strike his testicles, his face, and throw him backwards. Sosai Oyama said, the search for mastery of the martial arts strengthens the character and leads to wisdom.
If you would like more copies of this tape for instructors, students, or friends, just send $39.95 in U.S. dollars for each VHS tape to Shihan Bobby Lo, Kyokushin Karate, Hawaii Headquarters, 3137 Alika Avenue, Honolulu, Hawaii, USA, 96817. The price includes airmail delivery. Please specify NTSC, PAL, or CCAM.